Hey, how you doing? This is John, and welcome to John's Long Box. Today, we'll, I'm honoring a few requests. Somebody requested more crime comics, somebody requested uh, Golden Age comics, and somebody requested uh, EC comics. So, I'm nothing if not efficient. This is all three requests in one comic. <laughs> this was actually on my pile, and I forgot about it. It was the last one on my stack of showcase comics. So, I was looking through it, because I was like, I, I, I know I have some of, some of this stuff. All right. Uh, this, I... This is not my oldest comic. I think this is my second or maybe third oldest comic. But let, anyway, I digress already. So what is this? This is EC Comics, an entertaining comic. This is the same company that made uh, Mad Magazine, EC. And Mad Magazine, as far as I remember, is the uh, the only comic that survived EC Comics, the uh, the Great Purge, the Tencent Plague. So uh, even though this does say conforms to the comics code uh, so I, I i'm not sure a hundred percent on the timing and everything but i did a video on, on on the comics code authority that was one of my early videos maybe it's time to revisit that but anyway make a long story short uh comic books you know just like today video games are causing all the problems well back back in the 50s comic books were causing all the problems you know all juvenile delinquency masturbation drug use everything was caused by comic books so in the Hollywood, I, I, people don't really talk about this too much. But during the, the McCarthy years, the, the 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 movie industry was actually like taken over and like regulated by the government. So the comic book company, fearing that the same thing was going to happen, they they preemptively created the Comics Code Authority and self regulated, and they made up all these codes to, to keep the, to keep the government off their back. That that's pretty much an encapsulated story of of what happened. Uh, but so I'm not sure because this is a different symbol. I don't know if this is like the proto symbol or if this because as far as I I thought the hearings were in 1954 and this comic is 1952. So may, maybe I'm getting some times wrong. I'm sure other people could could correct me a little bit better about this. It's it's a fascinating point in American history. But anyway, I digress. So this is crime suspense stories number ten. And look at this wonderful Johnny Craig cover. I you know. It, it it's it's I don't know I I could I could gush and gush and gush and gush so so let's look at the artist of the issue Al Feldstein and then he has a nice write up of Al Feldstein look look how, look how young he looks weird fantasy just these guys were amazing what is in his hand what is that oh it's a sheet of paper okay it looked like a gun so let's look at the date Vol volume one number 10, 1952. And this is in pretty good condition, considering considering my sister's father-in-law was a was a hoarder, and when he died, they nice nice people that they were. They just gave me this box of comics, and it's some of the oldest comics that I have. Uh, one of the comics they gave me was Mad Mag Mad Number Two. And I sold that in a, in, a, in a moment of weakness during poverty. You know, I was just so broke, so mad that I sold that, so mad. But anyway, rocks in his head. So here we have the first story. And I don't see any credits to this. And I, 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 I'm I, really apologizing in advance because I'm, this isn't my area of expertise. This, this, these years of comics, and especially EC comics, I, I started getting into them late. In, in my life like like I'm saying like in a, like maybe the 40s I started really exploring this stuff I started buying a few hardcovers because I felt like oh I really really like comic books I, I should get into this you know and I, I wasn't exposed to this I wasn't really interested in horror comics I wasn't interested in, in crime comics I wasn't interested in anything that wasn't Marvel or DC superheroes you know I, I was a typical you know American kid got into comics in, in, in the seventies. You know what I mean? Like this stuff was beyond me. So I don't know. I'm making too many excuses. So focus. So again, I, what, what my point is, I, I don't know the writers. I don't know the artists. I think this is Johnny Craig. So we have the police over here. What is going on? The police are waiting for this doctor to finish surgery. So cut to this, this brain surgeon, his wife is a gold digger. She's like, look at this. Uh, I bought this mink coat. I bought it's only $4,000. This is only $4,000, 1952 money. So, I don't know. Any, anybody here, an accountant, how much is that? You know, so he's just freaking out. He's like, I can't believe this. They're, they're just fighting over, like, all the money. I, you know, I... And, you know, <laughs> My wife is very good. She doesn't ask for much. She doesn't ask for anything. So, I, I, I'm... 
even though I'm still sympathizing with this, this guy's the brain surgeon. What do you, what do you, what do you bring in? You just buy in, I don't know, maybe, maybe too much of my uh, chauvinism is coming out here, but I, I just feel like, dude, <laughs> chill out. You, you can't just go and spend all the money. So he's huffing and puffing. He's like, what, what am I going to do? And he's kicking rocks. You know, he's going to work. And here we got this, this woman over here. She's got a brain tumor. You got to operate on her. She's like, wow, she's unconscious. She's in a coma from the brain tumor. And what's he do? He's thinking about all his debts, all of his debts from his, his wife. So he steals the ring. So yeah, he, he's, he's not the paragon of virtue either. He sticks it in his pocket. The woman wakes up, help, I've been robbed. The police coming in. They're sealing off the entire, uh, the entire hospital. You know, who's going <laughs> to, I, I just love that. Like a $10,000 ring that the, the, the police show up, immediately seal off the hospital, start questioning it. Like, 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 does that happen? Does anybody care? You know, people get robbed in hospitals all the time. So she must have been an important big wig is all I got to say. So we're going to frisk you. He's like, hold on, I'm on my way to surgery, you know. So he's washing up. He's like, what am I going to do? I got this ring in my pocket. How am I going to get out of this one? You know, so here's where, you know, all, all of these stories are like morality plays. So he, he's scrubbing. He's like, I got bills to pay. What's going on? What's going on? So he's like, oh, this 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 tumor is a uh, is benign. She'll live. But I got to do something. So. He's like, oh, no, it's hopeless. It's a malignant tumor. I, I don't know. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a surgeon. How can you tell by looking at it? You know, I don't know. He's like, this poor woman, we're just going to close her up. There's nothing we could do. And then he, in his despair, he knocks over the tray. Everybody goes to, and he just jams the ring into this woman's brain. And he's like, this woman's going to die. You know, I, I'm sorry about this. You know, I don't know what to do. So then he's thinking, okay, you know, now that she's dead, I'm going to go pay my condolences to the family. And then find out where, where she's buried. And then I could go and uh, dig up the corpse and, and, and steal the ring. What, what a horrible person, huh? And she's like, oh, he was cremated. Da, 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 da. So lady killer. And here we got Jack Comente. Just I, I really love the art in this one. I just, just really love it. So here we got a scoundrel. Is that the right word? He's a scoundrel. This guy's meeting his... his side chick over here and they're, they're, they're loving it up in this, in this nice bow tie he's like she's like you got to kill your wife <laughs> right right off the bat nope nope no nope, pussyfooting around you got to kill your wife i want to marry you and she won't divorce you. he's like she won't divorce me she's very possessive he's like and she's like well yeah well you're not gonna get any of this and he's like i gotta go kill my wife he's got his gun and he's waiting for her and he's wait and now he's recollecting the story you know, what's going on. That seems to be the pattern in a lot of these. So now he's just sitting there waiting for his wife to come home. And now this is how they met. So there's his wife. That's the side chick. They, they were college buddies, college roommates, or whatever you want to call them. And, you know, I'll drive, you know, that was a pleasant, easy, pleasant evening. I'll drive you home. So he's like, okay. She's like, good. And then the wife's like, oh yeah, that's my best friend. Ain't nothing going to happen. I'll drive you home. And what happens? She seduces him, you know, He's like, what? He goes, oh, nothing. You know, next thing you know, they're 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 doing the lovey doves. The next morning, she's like, what time did you get home? I went to bed at twelve thirty. He was like, I ah, just after that, you know. Blah, blah, blah. She doesn't suspect anything because that's a good husband. That was her best friend. So now she's like, we got to stop meeting like this. We got to stop meeting. Oh, you know, them 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 hormones. You know, and she's looking at her all all sexy. It's like you got to kill your wife. She's too possessive. I I know she won't div divorce you. So he's just like, what are you gonna do? So he's like, you know what? I don't have to kill her. I could still get a divorce. So he tells the wife, and she's like, what? I'll never divorce you. I'll never divorce you. You're mine. You know, how dare you with my best friend? You know, that's, a... so he's like, all right, she's right. So he goes and uh, he opens up the door and he's like, what? Oh, come back. You know, what's going on? Oh, and he's like, she's dead. She's dead. I can't believe it. She, you know, what's going on? And, you know, he goes in and this, I, he, he shoots, but he, he thought, he so he shoots and she's and she said i can't believe it, i can't believe it and now he's like he's going to leave and it turns out he missed he shot you know she was already dead he shot at the wife the wife got away the wife already killed the girlfriend and he's standing there with the smoke and gun so he's going to get the electrocuted so da 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 ec fans shock suspense stories stories from the bible 
uh, stories of science picture book. So deep freeze. What is this? This is a little uh, tech story. Um, I I think the rules were changing at this point, or maybe they weren't. I don't know. But there had to be two pages of text. So I don't know if this qualifies. And this why did there need to be two pages of text so that it would qualify as a magazine? So that. As far as I know, and this looks like it's breaking the rules, so I'm, I'm obviously wrong or, or something's going on, that there had to be two pages of text in a comic for it to qualify as a magazine. And if it qualified as a magazine, it would get a cheaper uh, shipping rate so that the, the comic companies could actually ship them to the stores to sell so they could keep the prices down. You know, so I, I don't know. It is, it is, oh, maybe this is considered a page. Let's, you know, so here's a page of text. So and that's that's the origin of the letters pages. It was just easy, just print letters. You know, once they started getting a lot of letters, somebody got the bright idea. We print that. That satisfies the needs. So missed by two heirs. So here we got this rich, impossibly rich old guy comes down the stairs every morning, and there's the two heirs to to the money over here. And these two spoiled kids can't wait for for rich uncle to die. It's not their father. They never really saw him, so they don't really have any attachment to him other than he's an ambulatory bag of money. And he's taking too long to die. So they concoct the scheme that, uh, you know, every morning he comes down the rickety stairs and he gets his orange juice. He's like, so how about we we cut the uh, the banister and he'll trip and fall. So he's like, what's going on? He's like, come, I'm coming down. I want my orange juice. And he leans on the banister, but he doesn't die. What's going on? Come quickly. He's like, ah. What? I could have died. I could have died. He's like, oh, no, no, no. So bring me up my orange juice for now on. I'm not going down the stairs. So now it's even worse. Now they got to go up the stairs. Oh, geez. Can you believe it? the things you got to do for millions of dollars? You got to walk upstairs now to give the guy orange juice. So now he gives him the orange juice and he's like, what's he doing? He leaves. He actually leaves. And uh, apparently there's more steps or something in this house. So he's like, what's going on? He was running down the street saying, they're trying to kill me. They're trying to kill me. You got you to, gotta, uh, we got to get rid of the evidence. He's like, well, the poison wasn't that strong. So he's like, they're trying to kill me. They cut the banister. Now they're trying to poison me. So he's running down the street like a crazy person trying to get the cops. He's like, we got to dispose of the evidence. So they, they're drinking the poison, you know, drink it, drink it, drink it. And then he answers the door and the police are like, yeah, there was an old man screaming and yelling outside, but he tripped and fell and died. And he was drinking, he had orange juice. I don't, does, does he live here? So the cop doesn't even know what's going on. They just think it was a senile old man. Da, 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 da. So now, the haunt of fear, our friend the boys. And it says Ghastly. So I don't know, is that is that an artist's name, Ghastly? I don't know. But you know, look look at all this text over here. Very, very moody, very uh, atmospheric is the word. I, I just love this. this The art in this one is my favorite. Uh, don't get me wrong. All the art in this has been outstanding. But this this is my favorite. I don't know. I, I guess it's like gothic. And, 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 but I just, just, just this panel right here. And I, I, I know, but look at this wall of text. I'm, I'm not saying it's perfect. I'm not saying it's perfect, but uh, this wall of text over here. But this little panel, I just, I just love that. It just looks so great. Just the, the draftsmanship. Now, I don't know. I, I use the word draft, draftsmanship a lot. I don't know if I'm using it properly. If, if Any artists who may be watching this, could you, could you let me know if I'm using draftsmanship properly? When I say draftsmanship, I, I'm talking about like, the composition of the page and, and 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 the use of perspective and then like as it incorporates like real world architecture you know like i i i, I pretty much if you're into comic books if you want to draw comic books and you get to the professional level maybe i'm naive but i think you're at the point where like you, your human figures your your, your poses and, and your facial expressions are, are probably pretty good but, but what makes it what impresses me is all the all the little boring stuff all the little details like this line over here, the shading over here, this curvature of the roof, that to me is is what what would distinguish you from a, from an illustrator, you know, like a comic book illustrator to, to like a, a competent draftsman. Let me know if I'm using these terms correctly, if anybody is in the audience watching this. So the little boy's cold, you know, it's, the father's like, sorry, I got to go to work. The, the, father, the father is a soldier assigned on a base, and he was given this, this piece of crap house to live in, and the wife is... You know, the the wives haven't been portrayed as too too pleasant in these comics books. But I'm actually on the side of the wife over here. She's like, we can't live like this. And I'll show you another reason why I'm on the side of the wife in a minute. 
But she's like, look at look at this. The, the, the kid's cold. You know, we don't have enough food. This place is infested by rats. Everything stinks. So, so she's like, you got to do something. She's like, what could I do? You're, you're, you're the soldier. Talk to your commanding officer. L look at this place that they're living in. Now, again, the wives aren't portrayed as particularly... Uh, sympathetic in, in, in this particular issue she's like look at i got skeeter bites you know and she's like you know he's miserable she's like you got to do something you know and she's just she's crying and yelling and screaming so he goes to the landlord and the landlord's like hey feel free to move there's no place else to move he goes to his commanding officer that's where i told you to live you know you don't like it you know blah 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 and the landlord's like you wanted to you know, have you seen the electric bill? How, how many, you, you got a 20 watt bulb because I gave you a, a, a five watt bulb, you know, I, you know, you give, so what, you know, he's arguing over how many watts of the light bulb. Look at this crummy landlord. So he's just, he goes back to the wife. Well, he goes back to his payroll secretary of, of the, of the uh, military. And she's just like, just be lucky. Be glad you get paid on time. You know how many guys aren't even getting paid on time? You know, we got a lot of paperwork and everything. Like, yes, ma'am. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And he's like, he goes, what do I do? You know, you know, you want to raise, you know, you, you want to, everything just sucks. So he just comes home and she's like, you know, I talk to everybody. There's nothing anybody could do, you know, and she's just like miserable, you know, and I don't, again, I don't blame him. Look at this house, you know, so now there's a rainstorm, the house is leaking and he's like, I got to go downstairs and put more coal in the boiler because it's going to get cold. So the, he, it was so, the, the cold storm was so bad that he used up all the coal. And now he's telling the landlord, you want more coal? You want more coal? You know, that'll come out of the security deposit. You know, so then you're going to, at the end of the month, you're going to owe us. So he's like, all right, all right. So now he's yelling, you know, I'll go to the, I'll go to the, you know, you're a slumlord. He goes, all right, go ahead. They're my friends. They're not yours. Go ahead. Go to everybody you want. And here's the witch. Just tell him. He's like, how is he? How is he? He's like, he was, there was a rat on him in the crib and he almost died. So, you know. So she's like, we can't live here. There's rats crawling on the on the infant in the crib. And here's why I'm on the side of the wife. Check out those legs. Look at that waist. You know what I mean? Dude, dude. <laughs> you know, she's holding up her end of the bargain. Look at that. You got to hold up your end of the bargain. And then, you know, this house is just miserable. He's like, all right, we're leaving. I'm getting shipped out next month anyway. We're going to go to a hotel, you know, and I want. He's like, all right, cool. I'll give you your security deposit back, but I'm deducting that coal, so you're going to get $65. He goes, but now i got to go and check out the house and make sure you didn't damage it. And he goes, I love this. He goes, he already knows that the house is damaged. He goes, all right, cool. I could charge him for these holes in the wall. I could charge him for this rickety stuff. Ah, and he falls down, and the rats eat him. The landlord gets eaten by rats. Da -da 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 -da. Like I said, a lot of these are, are, are morality plays. Crazy bargain page. Portable typewriter. I, I don't know. I, I, I kind of have a fondness for portable typewriters. A chronograph. Is that a fancy way of saying watch? Tiny midget camera. With rings. Rings over there. More rings. Men's initial. A lot of rings. Jeez. 10-day trial coupon. Hey, skinny. Your ribs are showing. I love this. Oh, wow. This is this is a proto. Because it is Charles Atlas. But, oh, wow, look at this. What a man. It doesn't say Hero of the Beach. So this is like the older version. Wow. Wow. Cool. Charles, this is so cool. I dig it. All right. All right. So there you go. This was Crime Suspense Stories. I, I really liked it. I You know, the art is outstanding. I, I could I could just sit here and, and not even look at the, not even read the stories and totally enjoy them. And I read this couple of years ago. Jeez, I, I must have read this 10 years ago. I think it was the last time I read it. But it all comes back to me because the storytelling is, is so wonderful, so perfect. Storytelling meaning you could follow the comp, follow the images and, and figure out the stories. Remember, comic books are, are words and pictures. Without either one of them, it's not a comic book. You know, not one is not more important than the other. Uh, uh, here, here you go. What is more important to you guys, the art or the story? Because... Uh, to me, it's it's abundantly clear that it's the story. Now, granted, if the art is super, super duper atrocious, I'm, I'm not even going to read it. So, yes, the art is important. But to me, like, Image Comics, there was some really great art. But the stories were so bad that I ended up dropping them. Yeah, so you lured me in. You lured me in, but I didn't stay. So the art will get me into the door, okay? I'm, I'm amending my thoughts as I'm saying them out loud. The art will get me into the door. But if the story doesn't deliver, I'll leave. 
I'll leave. But if the art is so bad, the story could be wonderful, but I won't even get in the door. How's that? Does, I think that's that pretty much, you know, I, I, I actually changed my opinion of what I was saying as I was saying it. But then again, you know, that, that, that's the mind, the mind. I, you know, I irrationally examined my, my chain of thought. Okay. Now, now I'm getting on an, on another tangent, but there you go. Uh, I, I like to honor requests. I have a, I have some really great requests. I'm saying them out loud to remind myself. Uh, uh, somebody just wanted to see crime stories. Somebody wanted to see some, some golden age. Uh, I think this qualifies as golden age, although I have another golden age comics that I will show. So even if it's not, I, I will. And then somebody wanted to see EC. Uh, somebody wanted to see the first appearance of Star Lord and some Bernie Wrights and Swamp Thing. Those are all my uh, requests that are outstanding right now. Um, I haven't asked. I haven't solicited for requests for a while because I had a gigantic stack of comics. But uh, just uh, and I forgot to mention it. But if you have requests for videos, a I have to have the comic, and b I. If it's a if I don't like the comic, I will only showcase it to make a point. You know, like I I want this to be positive. I want this to be like a celebration of comic books. I don't want this to be a roasting of comic books. I have roasted a few comic books, but I feel that was making a point, and and I didn't just get carried away. I, I don't want to be a roasting channel. So there you go. If I have the comic, and for the most part, if I like the comic, I, I will showcase the, the, the your requests. Okay, but I, at this point, I'm not going to be going out and buying more expensive comics. I, I got I got a lot of uh, home repairs to do. Okay, thanks a lot. I'll see you tomorrow. Oh, this is Saturday's video. Tomorrow is Sunday comics, so I will go live at at ten at 10 a.m. and I will showcase a comic. I, I didn't pick anything yet, but I, I, have, an, I have an idea. So, uh, you know, see you tomorrow live at 10 a.m. Bye-bye.